Hello and happy day fourth grade. My name is Mr. Tang and I hope you are staying safe and washing your hands. Today we're going to be going over week five lesson one, adding and subtracting fractions. Our objective for this lesson is going to be to add and subtract fractions with like denominators by using models, equivalent fractions, and properties of operations in order to solve real world problems. So we are going to be taking a look at adding and subtracting fractions that do have the same denominator by using a couple different strategies, models, equivalent fractions, and properties of operations. Let's start today by taking a look at how these things here are the same and how they are different. On the left hand side, we have one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth. And then on the right, we have three fifths. So again, how are these the same and how are they different? Here are some things to think about before we get started. Visual models and number lines can be very helpful and used to help us add and subtract fractions. When it comes to adding fractions, it's nice to be able to draw models to help us visualize the fractions that we're going to be combining. When using a number line, it's important that we use the same interval all the way through. So this example shows us using six. If I had four six, I can go up to four. And then if I'm adding three six, from that four six, I can add three more. When using models to subtract, we start with our first number, which is, in this example, five twelfths. We don't have to draw another two twelfths because we're not combining it. But in fact, we are going to go ahead and shade in the two twelfths that we are subtracting. When using a number line for subtracting fractions, it looks a little different because instead of adding on, we're counting back. So four six is where we start, and then we can count back three six. So we move right to show where we start on our number line, and then we move to the left to show where we end up after subtracting. How do you add fractions on a number line? Mary rides her bike two-tenths mile to pick up her friend Marcy for soccer practice. Together, they ride five-tenths mile to the soccer field. What is the distance from Mary's house to the soccer field? What could help us figure this out? Let's keep going. What operation should you choose to solve this problem? Select your answer. You can use a number line to add to find the total distance. Use a number line to show addition. Draw a number line for tenths. Start at zero. Count two segments to the right to locate two tenths on the number line. Then move five more segments to the right to show adding five tenths. When you add, you move to the right on the number line. How can using a number line help you write an addition equation and solve the problem? Think about this question as you do the activity that comes next. Write the addition equation. Add the numerators. Write the sum over the like denominator. 
What is the distance from Mary's house to the soccer field? The distance from Mary's house to the soccer field is 7 tenths mile. Now you know how to add fractions on a number line. Wow, I hope you had as much fun as I did watching that video. But now here's your chance to try it. In your packet, you'll have additional resources that go along with your lesson. The instructional notes are all in there as well. So the first one's gonna be the reteach page. At the top of this reteach page, you have some vocabulary talking about the number line. And then the rest of this page, you should be able to do independently. Next up, we have our practice pages. The first one being the guided practice and independent practice one. As you continue working through this lesson, take a look at your second practice page. It has more problems and some opportunity for some problem solving. This is a great opportunity for you to really flex some of that new learning from today and apply it to the real world situation. In addition, if you have access and opportunity, Try to get on Dreambox. Realistically, you should try to be doing six to eight lessons per week. You're always welcome to do more. Well, boys and girls, I hope you had a great time. I know I did. Until next time, stay safe, try to have some fun, and do math.